Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario 2, and in the last part, we actually ran into a freaking Amazy Daisy. That golden thingy right over there, that is an Amazy Daisy. Now, Amazy Daisies are crazy. Un <laughs> I know that, ugh, never mind. Crazy Amazy Daisies have 20 HP, I believe they hit for 12, and 90% of the time, uh, they will run away instantly. And not to mention they have defense. They have some defense. I don't know how much, but I know that they have some. So, I'm going to do what I can to try to uh, kill this thing. But if you kill it, you will get so many star points. It's like a boss, basically. Oh, crap. It didn't work on any of them. All right. Ow, crap. I'm asleep. I'm dead now. Okay, well, it ran away, so. Oh, gosh. Okay, Lucky. Shut up. No one likes you. Alright, uh, I think at that, I'm just gonna run away because there's no point in keeping, keep going. So, yeah, we missed the Amazing Daisy, kind of wasted some star power, but hey, it's, I guess that's fine. I don't think I could have taken it anyway, just, oh, oh gosh, you've got to be kidding. Go away, you stupid flower person. Go away. Oh, you waste more money. Nah, dang it. <laughs> it's like, nah. Alright, more daisies. Go away. I don't want to waste more money, but I freaking have to. I can't take them. Because if they, if they put me to sleep, then it's just waiting for them to kill me and just constantly doing more damage and stuff. And I don't want to do that. Alright, so anyway, um, now we're finally out of the forest and away from all the amazing daisies and the crazy daisies. Alright, now, go ahead and roll up in the tube. Whee! Roll! Roll, baby, roll! Come on! Alright, nope! Yeah, awesome! Alright, come on, we can make it! Don't get in any fights! No, dang it! Man, I almost made it! Freaking block! What the, there's a daisy over here too? Okay, that's weird, I didn't know there were daisies over here. But yeah, running from so many fights, it's amazing, isn't it? This is the most fights I've ever run in. What the? I'm still in tube form! Okay, that's weird. Roll! Whoa, hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Alright, uh... Whoa, what the? What? How did he come out of the sky paper? That's weird. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, I can jump now. Oh, gosh. Oh, hey, and hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body, too. Which means that you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. But that's not enough, either. I aim to erase you for good. Bum, bum, bum. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun. This'll be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Now, as you can see, they will take you into uh, the whole, you know, the little text entering screen. But if you'll notice, see, M-N-O-P and M-N-O nothing. There is no lowercase p here. So basically, you cannot name him correctly. And yes, you actually need correct caps. Like, you need the correct pronunciation and everything and all the right thingies. Like, you need the, the right case. You can't have uppercase p in his name. So yeah. Anyway, we are going to name him... Let me see. What do I want to name him? Jorgi. Your name is Jorgi. Yes, your name is Jorgi. Rangamundo, little nobody. Who named their kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And I don't even think about running for battle, you hear? No running! Yeah, I'm gonna run. That is actually what you have to do. You cannot beat him. Let's see here. I believe you cannot do any damage to him, and he cannot do any damage to you. Yes, no one can do any damage to each other, so you have to run. You can't do a thing, so run away. So, yeah. Kind of sucks, but that's what you got to do. Oh, that's no fun. Lame, whatever. Anyway, right, so now we are back in town. And let's see here. There's a big fat lady. What the? What? Wow, you're fat. Um, anyway, 
Oh, hey. What's going on in here? What's going on? Hey, open the door. Thank you. All right, what do we got for sale in here? Ooh, we got Thunder Rage. We got Spite Pouch. We got Stopwatch. Oh, look! <laughs> no, untrue, monsieur. <laughs> Perhaps when I awoke, I was here. I don't want to... Uh, in the shop, I swear he... I did not lie. <laughs> Please. In my shop, say something. She's my wife. Oh, gosh. Dude, you... F stupid Frenchie. You getting in like... Ugh, never mind. He's gonna get in trouble one of these days. But anyway, the curse has been lifted and everybody is unpinged. Hey, look, it's the uh, three toes. Hey, we're the Traveling Sisters 3. All right, blah, blah, blah. All right. I knew it was them. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Head into the main square. Hey, look, it's Vivian. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What do I do? What do I do? Poor me. All right, so Vivian is here searching for the super bomb. The super bomb is in these bushes. Let's search for a bit. Aha, way, star piece. Cool. I'll take that. Oh, gosh, that was a disgusting break in my voice, but whatever. Uh, let's talk to her. Sniff, sniff. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's gonna punish me again. But it's just not here. Alright, let's go ahead and search in the bushes some more. Right, where is it? Actually, I think it is all the way over here. Or over here. Aha, there it is, the super bomb. Won't Vivian be punished if she doesn't find this? Let's take it. Let's take it to her. The super bomb. What? You found it? Yes, I found it. You're a grenade. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. Hey, there's the. Oh no! It's it's broken. Oh, that sucks. It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for, for life. Hey, don't feel bad. Thanks. You're so very, you're very sweet. That actually makes me feel a little better. But what do I do now? My sisters will be back any minute now. Well, I could just tilt my head to the side and it'll be okay. Wait. Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? Me? What is my name? I am Mr. Purpleface. What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's absolutely crazy. Yeah, no kidding. And so we tell Vivian our story, apparently, except for the fact that we're Mario. Gee whiz, you have way first problems than I do. And you were so worried about and you were worried about me that whole time. That's so kind. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna help you get your name back. And your body and your friends. No, you can't! It was never meant to be! Whatever. Okay, uh, hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay you all your kindness. It's the right thing to do. Oh, okay. Well, at least, uh, at least we're the same color, so that's... Ah, uh, whatever. So, <laughs> here we go. Whatever. Anyway, Vivian has joined your party! Sadly, we don't get a boo like Bo, but whatever. Now we get this random purple pleh of a person. All right, a primer, okay. Press X to have Vivian pull you into the shadows where they can hide. So you press X, and you can hide just like Bo's ability. But really, it's just kind of copying Bo, except not a boo. So yeah. When hiding in the shadows, press X to re-emerge, okay? Boom, press X, blah, blah, blah. All right, in battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her shade fist. Or she, can, she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her veil move. So yeah, it's kind of just exactly like Bo. Alright, so anyway. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. How are we going to get that kind of information? Oh hey, I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around. But they're actually really well informed at all that flying and eavesdropping. <laughs> My family can listen on their conversations without them knowing. Well, in addition to villagers, let's try to get some info from local birds. That's the least I can do for helping with my powers. Alright, whatever. Anyway, I don't know how Vivian moves, considering her thing is attached to the ground and she can just slide around. But, whatever. Anyway, um, let's go in here. Now, this is the area that you need to be in to get the correct info, I believe. These are the birds that you must speak to, okay? Caw, 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 caw. All right, now, use a shadow move. And, hey, Maude, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, talking to his SATs? What the? Okay, never mind. Uh, Ronnie, whatever. Uh, okay, I believe it's these birds. Okay, I hope it's these birds. I don't look like an idiot. All right, so that Mario got a meeting with the mayor. He's actually the bad guy, right? 
And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows a bad guy's name is locked up in a creepy steeple, I hear. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use an unstoppable magic. Yes, because that makes oh so much sense. If someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So, I wonder how all this is going to end up then. Alright. Did you hear that? If we search on the creepy steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. And then, let's go to the creepy steeple once again. Hooray for backtracking! Anyway, we're at the time limit. So, I'm going to see you in the next part where we go back to creepy steeple. So, I'll see you there.